Hey, Coach, I know this is a, an unusual situation for you, for everybody, all the high school coaches in the state of Indiana. Uh, what have you been able to talk to your players a little bit about, first off, when you learned of the, the news that so much was going to be happening here, and now you're looking at maybe the month of June no longer being available for you and your program. What have you talked to your players about? Well, I've been in contact with them. We've, you know, we've sent out some individual workouts to all of them that they can do with just a ball or just some exercise stuff that they can do if they don't have a rim they can get to. Um, but we, you know, we've talked about what we're going to do if we don't have a June, which was a big possibility. It seems like it is now that we're, we're not going to be able to do anything in June. What they're going to do after that, we don't know yet. Um, but just, you know, trying to stay healthy. Right now, we, when I talk to them, we just talk about trying to stay out stay out of the way of this and, and stay as healthy as you can be around your family. And, 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 and it's tough, you know, when, when yeah. we talk, it's tough, it's tough for a teenage kid to be cooped up in a house as long as we we've, we've had to do this. So I get it. You want to get out and do things, but at the same time, we gotta be, we gotta be careful here. You know, it's, uh, it's not the same and you know, and I know everybody's in the same boat, but having kids go out and shoot and do some things on their own, as you know, it's not going to be the same. Can, can you make that up? Is there anything you can do to say, boy, I tell you what, it's going to put us behind. How do you look at this in the long run? If you do get a chance to play next season? It, it, it does put you behind. I mean, I've always said that playing basketball is not like riding a bike. You can't set it down and pick it up a long time later and just pick up right where you left off. So it, it does put us behind. I mean, the only benefit we have right now is the fact that everybody in the States in the same boat that we are. I mean, so we're not behind everybody else. They're dealing with the same things that we're dealing with. It's going to come down to what individuals are going to do on their own by themselves. How much work are our guys going to put in? Uh, if they can find a rim, if they can do it, it's, it's not the same, but it's better than sitting at home on the couch. And we talk about that too. We got to be doing something because this is, it, it is putting us behind. But uh, we we got to find a way to, to be able to get to get some stuff done on our own. That is the other issue is unless you do find an outdoor court, I don't think anybody's letting people inside to most of these places anyway. Whether it be the the Y or any of the schools or anything, so you got to find something outdoors. And if it's not nice outdoors, well, that kind of eliminates that too. So you're kind of caught between a rock and a hard place where you got to find a place to play. And I understand they even took the, the rims down at most of the parks right. around the area. So you can't even go there. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to find a place right now. If you don't have your own goal, and I've talked to a few parents who have said that they were thinking about just going and buying a goal yeah. um, so, that, so that the girls could get some shots up. But, yeah, if, if you don't have a goal, then you're not going to find one right now. Everything's closed. They've even, like you said, they've taken the rims off of, off, off of all the parks. So it's, it's tough right now to get to be able to get some shots up and do those things. And we're just going to have to go to work. We, you know, when I talk to them, we, we've got a lot of work. When this thing is over and done and it passes and we can get back in the gym and get together and do some things, you know, we got to make up for some lost time and we got to get in there, you know, and, and, and get this done and, and, and do as much as we can and uh, go as hard as we can when we get back in the gym. You know, I have a feeling that most of them don't have a weight room either. I mean, that's another aspect that right. you know and you, you put your team through weight strength and, and programs that you had there at the high school, but you can't really do that. Can you make up for that as well, or is that something you're going to have to catch up as well? We're, gonna, we're obviously going to have to catch up on that too. I mean, because you, you're right. I mean, uh, they, they don't have – you know, in, in, this, in the stuff that we're sending out, the workouts, we're doing some self-weight, you know, some, some body stuff. Um, you know, your push-ups, your sit-ups, some stuff like that. Um, but that's not the same as hitting the weight room either. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot that we're going to have to get done and in a hurry, if, uh, especially if we're going to play this year. Um, so, like I said, it's just going to be how, how hard are we going to come back and work when, when this thing's released. Hey, uh, wouldn't it be fair to say, though, that, I mean, you probably know as well as I do, you see people going to local stores and they're packed like in Menards and places like that or Walmart – where people are in close contact with one another, wouldn't it be fair to say that maybe the IHSA could let you and other coaches have two to three players in the high school and maybe work out, even if you put them at separate goals and they're, they're doing the social distancing, I think that'd be something that would be possible. Is that anything anybody's talked about that at all? Um, it, nobody said anything to me. Um, I'm sure the IHSA right now uh, would do what's in the best interest of the kids. Obviously, I, I would be for that. Um, obviously I would do it and, and just bring a couple in at a time. 
Yeah. Um, but that's not my decision to make. Um, that's above my pay grade. We'll do whatever the HSA says. Um, but right now, I, I imagine they're, they're, they're with their hands full worried about fall sports right now. And, and yeah. we're kind of next on the list, which is understandable. Yeah. Um, so, you know, but, yeah, I, I think that that would be a good idea. Uh, I, I would hope that we eventually get to that. I think we will get to some kind of lift where they, where they try to figure out so we can have some, some contact with them. Well, I know you might be on the low end of the totem pole pay-wise, but as far as your status, you can still say what you want to say, right? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't mean they listen, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I was just thinking from a common sense standpoint, you know, we know you're 75 feet apart or whatever it is in the gym, right. one end to the other end, and maybe a basket, you're long, further along than six feet, and you had hand sanitizer, things like that with you, and I just think it's a common sense thing to do to I think even like you said I mean mentally just get some of these kids back in there and get some normalcy to it right yeah I agree and, and like I said I would be all for it I think it makes sense um, and I think eventually we will get to something like that I think it's just one of those things that's further down on the list right now because like I said again I, I, I think fall sports is first and foremost right now trying to get what they're trying to get figured out what they're going to do there um, you know our 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 girls are upset. We're not going to be able to play in June. They've been worried about it since, since this, all this started. Uh, you know, we have a heavy senior group this year that has worked yeah. their tails off and, you know, we, sh we should have a, I expect a pretty good season this, yeah. this coming year. Um, well, you know, you, so, you mentioned June, if I may, it's, you know, the players you have coming back, you're probably thinking more about those kids that are the, ones that are looking to make the varsity, the ones that can make a contribution. This is where they really miss that time. It is. And it, and it, you know, I, when we talk as coaches, we're trying to figure out who's going to fill in some more spots for us right now. Um, you know, our, our bench wasn't too deep last year. Uh, and, and now, you know, we, we lose some bench players and some, some key stuff for us that we got to try to figure out where, where we're going to go. And that's where June comes in, where people can get a lot of minutes on the floor and get an opportunity and everybody gets a shot to, to, to make the varsity roster or, or, you know, just, just fill in some minutes here and there or figure out what we're going to do and try to figure out where, where some kids land. And, you know, obviously we're not going to be able to get that done. So, you know, hopefully we can get the gym, get some open gyms and stuff going here later. You know, I, I would be – I'm hoping that they, they look at opening some stuff up in July for us. Yeah. Um, I, I haven't been told. I haven't heard. Um, but it, I, I'm hoping that they decide to do that. I think it would be the right thing to do for all of us. You know, you shut down June. I think you lift moratorium and let us have July to at yeah. least get them in the gym and do some stuff like that. Yeah, by that time, your moratorium has already been, what, four months long? Right. In yeah. yeah. Would yeah. Would July be a, a month then where maybe you could do some of the things that you wanted to do instead of June, move some of that to July? I know logistics from gyms and all that stuff probably would be a problem, but can you get some some games in in July? Well, and that's the thing. I don't know what we would do. I don't know if the IHSA would say, okay, we're going to lift this. You can have them in the gym and you can do your own things. You just can't go play anybody. You can't travel. You know, a lot of the shootouts that we go to are college shootouts. You know, we right. go to IU, we go to Indiana Wesleyan, we go to several places like that. Even if they lift it and they say we can do that, is it going to work in to the colleges now to where they're still going to be able to have time to do these, this stuff in July? So maybe then you, you know, I've racked my brain about this. Then maybe you say, okay, well, now all the high schools just have some shootouts. You know, I know we go to East Central. Maybe, you know, we could get with some other schools and just pick up some games. Just, you know, I, I don't know what they're going to say we're going to be able to do. Um, but I would be all for that, too, in trying to get some games in and, and at least play some a few games during during July. Yeah, I know when this is over with, it'll be a huge relief for everybody. And I want to go maybe down the road a little bit and think about sometime in November and December. And I know you and I will talk then, and I'll probably ask you, as you play a game, did you see some of this on the floor that could have been alleviated if you had that time back? And I know we can't do anything about it now. It doesn't do any good to look back to you. Probably think in your mind, you know, if we had June to do this, this probably wouldn't have happened. Is that something that will kind of cross your mind at some point? Oh, I'm absolutely sure it will. But at the same time, like I said, everybody, you know, it's, I'm not the only coach in Indiana that's dealing with it. Um, so, I mean, but, yeah, I mean, we're definitely, especially when we're trying to figure out spots, 
you know, yeah. we're trying to figure out. Now you're going to be into the season trying to figure out who's going to play some – fill in with some minutes, some key stuff for us. Uh, instead of trying to more or less come out of June feeling better about who's going to land where for you because you get to see it all month. Because we play a lot of games in June. We, yeah. you know, we're anywhere from 24 to 30 games in June. Um, so we, we get a chance to see them a lot. And, I, you know, I ramped up the schedule in June this year for this group because – we, you know, we're, we're going to be pretty good and we're senior heavy. And uh, I just figured it was, it was the best for us. So I think that's in the mo- the most that we're going to miss this year is when we went to shootouts and stuff, I was asking to play your Carmels, your, you know, your, your Ben Davises, your, your Lawrence Norris, your, your really good team, win or lose just to yeah. push us this summer. Um, and I think that's what we're going to miss the most is what we were going to do for them that way this summer. Hey, before I let you go, what do you do between now and then other than wait and see? And, again, there's probably not much else you can do. I know we all try to inquire what some of the possibilities might be, but what do you do between now and that opening time? I, I, I just think, you know, it's a waiting game right now. We can't do anything uh, until IHSA says whatever what we can do. And then I think, you know, whatever they say, I think we just got to – be prepared and we got to hit it full board and be ready to go and get as much done as we can. The big thing is, you know, and I, when I talk to, talk to them, it's when we come back, it is go time. You know, yeah. we're already behind and, and we can't, we can't come in and, and, and just be in the gym. We, we got to really come in to get some work done. You know, I've talked to them. Their mental state is really good, especially the seniors we have. Uh, last year didn't end like they, they wanted it to end. They felt like they left something on the table and they did. Um, so I'm, I'm glad that they're they're mentally prepared for this year. Um, of course, they're worried about are we even going to play. That's too far down the road for them to be worried about right now. Our next step that we need to be worried about is what we're going to do and how we're going to handle it when we are able to get back in the gym. Give you some good news. I was out uh, a couple of days ago, and I did see one of your players out shooting. So at least there's one hoop in town I know they could probably find right there. So they are working right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And they are, they are, they'll, they'll text me and they'll shoot me that they did the workout that we sent out today. And, you know, they'll tell me I miss basketball and I'm, so I, I, you know, I, I like where we're at mentally right now as far as being ready to go. But, uh, you know, that's, that's got to roll over to when we do come back and we get in the gym, we, we got to go as hard as we can and we got to get as much done as we can in, 